హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ అండ్ ఆపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ సో మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ ఆర్ నథింగ్ బట్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ దీస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ ఆర్ ఫండమెంటల్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ డివైస్ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ మోడర్న్ ఐసీ టెక్నాలజీ సో మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ ఆర్ ఫండమెంటల్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ డివైస్ దట్ ఆర్ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ మోడర్న్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ సర్క్యూట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ బై లేయరింగ్ కండక్టింగ్ ఇన్సులేటింగ్ అండ్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఫార్మింగ్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఆన్ సిలికాన్ సబ్స్ట్రేట్ ఇట్ ఇన్క్లూడ్స్ డిఫరెంట్ రీజన్స్ లైక్ డిఫ్యూజన్ రీజన్ పాలిసిలికాన్ లేయర్ అండ్ మెటల్ ఇంటర్ కనెక్షన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ సెపరేటెడ్ బై ఇన్సులేటింగ్ రీజన్ సో మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ ఆర్ ఫార్మ్డ్ బై లేయరింగ్ కండక్టింగ్ ఇన్సులేటింగ్ అండ్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఫార్మింగ్ మెటీరియల్స్ ఆన్ సిలికాన్ సబ్స్ట్రేట్ సో ఏ లేయర్ ఆఫ్ కండక్టింగ్ మెటీరియల్ ఇన్సులేటింగ్ మెటీరియల్ అండ్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ మెటీరియల్ విల్ బి ఫార్మ్డ్ ఆన్ సిలికాన్ సబ్స్ట్రేట్ టు మేక్ a mass transistor it consists of different regions like diffusion region polysilicon layer and metal interconnections and these regions and connections are separated by insulating region now let us understand cmos technology and transistor types so this is the structure of n mass transistor and this is the symbol so here from the structure as well as a symbol we can identify n mos or n type mosfet consist of three important terminals which is drain source and gate so which can be observed in structure as well so we have drain gate and source similarly this is the structure of p mos and a symbol of p mos it consist of drain source and gate here n mos is an n transistor which is fabricated on p type semiconductor substrate along with two n type diffusion regions as shown in this figure and this n mos transistor uses electrons as majority charge carriers this is the structure of p mos which is a p type transistor p type transistor is fabricated on n type silicon substrate or n type semiconductor substrate it consist of two p type diffusion regions as shown in this figure so the majority charge carriers in p mos or p transistor are holes so holes are the majority charge carriers in p mos and electrons are the majority charge carriers in n mos so from the structure itself you can make out the difference here so you can see in n type transistor or n mos the substrate is p type and in p mos or p type transistor the substrate is n type and the diffusion region in n mos is n type and the diffusion region in p mos is p type you need to remember this difference now let us understand the physical structure of mos transistor both n type and p type mos transistor consist of source which is represented by s drain which is represented by d and gate which is represented by g so these are the three terminals in both n type and p type transistor source and drain terminal are the terminal where current enters or exit the transistor so here drain terminal and source terminal are the region from where the current will enter or exit from the transistor so here gate terminal is formed on conducting electrode which is polysilicon which will be placed on an insulating layer 
which is made up of oxide and this gate will control the flow of current. So here across the gate layer we are having a conducting layer which is made up of polysilicon and insulating layer which is made up of oxide is present and this gate layer will control the flow of current. So current will flow through drain as well as source and this movement of current or flow of current will be controlled by gate. It also consists of substrate which is also known as body. So both p-type and n-type transistor consist of substrate which is a body. So substrate is a silicon region or semiconducting region on which the device is fabricated. So on this region the device will be fabricated. For n-type transistor we will be having p-type substrate and for p-type transistor we will be having n-type substrate. So we can say the NMOS structure consists of p-type substrate separating two n-type diffusion region and a p-MOS transistor has n-type substrate separating p-type diffusion region. In both the cases the gate is above the channel region separated by insulating region which is formed by a oxide. Since it consists of metallic contacts, an oxide region and a semiconductor, it is known as metal oxide semiconductor transistors. Now let us understand the operation of MOS transistor. The MOS transistor operates by controlling current flow between the source and drain terminals by using gate voltage. So here you need to remember the current flow between drain and source will be controlled by applying some voltage across the gate. So for NMOS positive voltage is applied across the gate and for PMOS a negative voltage is applied across the gate. So in NMOS a positive voltage is applied across the gate. If a positive voltage is applied across the gate, the free electrons in a p-type substrate will be attracted towards the gate and a channel is formed between drain and source so that the current can easily flow between source and drain. Similarly, in p-type transistor or p-MOS, a negative voltage is applied across the gate. This negative voltage will attract holes from n-type substrate and they will form a layer below the gate region. So there will be a channel that will be formed between a drain and source so that the current can easily flow. So here you need to remember before applying the voltage across the gate there will be no connection between a drain and source. Once we apply the required voltage across the gate the majority charge carriers will form a region below gate so that will form a path between drain and source so that the current can easily flow. So this operation is for both n-type and p-type transistors. Here you need to remember the drain and source terminal are interchangeable which means depending upon the direction of current we can identify the drain and source terminals. So always you need to remember the current will be produced from source terminal and it will flow towards drain terminal and here gate will act as control terminal. It will control the flow of current. So finally we can say that MOS transistors are building blocks of digital and analog circuits. The combination of NMOS and PMOS transistors are known as CMOS technology and this CMOS technology enables low power high speed circuits which are used in microprocessor, memory chip and various other electronic devices. So you need to remember MOS transistors are fundamental blocks or basic building blocks of any digital and analog circuits. So, the combination of 
NMOS and PMOS transistors are known as CMOS technology. So, this CMOS technology is helpful in low power and high speed circuits that are used in microprocessor, memory chip and other electronic devices. This is about MOS transistor, types of MOS transistor and operation of MOS transistor. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.